Hi there, today we're unboxing a Wi-Fi camera. So this particular camera is by a company called Zomodo and the model is the Sight 180 Outdoor. Let's have a quick look around the packaging. Very plain packaging, nothing too fancy. We've got some model details there, nothing else there. On the back, we've got some details about the actual camera. There's the model, Sight 180 Outdoor, just stating it's a Wi-Fi camera. HD quality video, so 1080p, quite interesting. It's got a 180 degree wide angle. So if you put it against, say, a wall like that, you'd get the complete view all the way, not just a fixed area. So that's quite interesting. Remote access, night vision, motion detection, and dual band connectivity. So if you look down here, you can connect to both a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network and a five gigahertz Wi-Fi network. So I guess because you've got the five gigahertz Wi-Fi connectivity, you can actually get the HD quality picture, so the 1080p. Okay, so let's have a look what you get in the actual package. So let's open it up. Okay, so quick start guide. Let's have a look at that. Doesn't seem too complicated, all in English. It's good, we've got some QR codes there as well. Okay. Cloud service is now available. Interesting, just a card stating that. Then the actual camera itself. Put that to the side. We've got some fixtures. <laughs> Quite nice, got a spirit level as well when you're mounting it, so that's quite different. I've not seen any manufacturers give that. Got a sticker, stick on your window. Just warning, um, protected by Zomodo smart security system. So obviously that uh, sticks on the inside of your glass so you can see the image on the other side. Let's open that, ah, okay. That's interesting, comes with a screwdriver as well. That's good. And a power adapter. Power adapter, I guess that's European power adapter, so no good to me, I'll have to get a, another one. Or is that US? Ah, actually it is US power adapter, so no good to me. I'll get a UK one and we can test off that. Okay, so we've got all the bits and pieces you get in the packaging laid out on the floor here. So let's have a look at the actual camera itself. So not too big and not too sort of chunky. So let's give you an idea of the actual size of it. So dimensions wise, height wise, you're talking 11 and a half centimeters. The width is around just a little bit over five and the depth is approximately, could say, around two and a half centimeters. It's not too bad, not too big either, so which is good. You've got the actual power cable on the back, so that can sort of line up straight in there. So what you'd probably be aiming to do is if you're gonna put this outside, drill a hole, which is this size, and then you can pop that through into your house and then you can actually plug in the power connection like so and it's powered that's good and it's nice it's a small connector as well if we're not too much hassle really to drill the hole um, it's got a comment on there uh, please weatherproof cable end ends if installing outside Okay, so it's weatherproof, just make sure it's sealed if you're installing outside. Okay, let's take the cover off the actual camera. Nice glossy finish around here. Feels like a tough plastic on there. So glossy plastic on the top and tough plastic on the bottom. If I turn around, this comes off. You've got like serial number details below that. 
and this is a mounting bracket so obviously you mount that on your outside and then you can use obviously your spirit level to sort of line it up so you get that put it in the right position like so make sure the spirit level is in the center mark your four holes and then you can just attach it like so okay build quality okay build quality wise it looks really good really tough solid construction to it now the actual fixture wise you obviously put that on clip it on and then if I look in here which is nice that they're giving screwdrivers with this there you go it's like a little mini security screw so what happens is that you literally put that in and then you can just lock it into place to avoid people from just snatching it I guess running off with it so that should in theory keep it locked in place you see and one on the other side as well Obviously, you've got to be careful it's very tiny screw so quite easy to sort of misplace really as you're installing there you go nice and tight okay screwdriver wise just to show has a small locking pin there a little ball to lock it in place so if I push it there you go full size or a good size usable screwdriver flip it around there you go I guess the only thing they haven't given is a drill to drill it in because obviously you've got your spirit level you've got the raw plug screws screwdriver but nah, still good, still real good effort. You don't normally see that from any sort of reseller. Okay, so let me show you how to get this configured then. So I've got my Android phone here. We're gonna go to the Play Store and we'll find the app for this. So Zomodo, click install. Okay, so the app's installed. Let's open it up and we need to sign up so you can either use your mobile number or let it disappear an email address so let me sign up in the background and then we can carry on okay so I've registered an account and this is what I'm presented with let's flick along it's de different details in the app okay I'm gonna allow it to take pictures and record access media and the device's location there you go okay so let's add the camera so we'll click the plus option here we'll go for the Z ink option it's one device and it's saying connect to the network named ZMD underscore SAP so if I click setup and there you go there's a network if I click on that for a moment and let it connect okay as it's connected you'll get this message internet may not be available it's fine that could be dismissed and then you actually select your Wi-Fi network you want it to connect to. Okay, so once you've selected your Wi-Fi network, typed in your password, then it goes to a search option, so it automatically picks up your Wi-Fi camera. And once it's found, you're presented with this dialog, and this allows you to give the camera a name and set a password for it. So let me set that off camera. Okay, so I've given the password, and I've given a name to the camera and now it's going to cloud service available so it's given a price plan for that not after that so I'm going to say no thanks there's an option to try out for free don't want that either let's go back 
and device added successfully. Now you can share it with your friends or family. Do that later. And there you go, there's the camera. So initially, let's jump on and see what the live footage is like. So that's low definition. Let's skip to high definition. And really nice and clear. Let's click here and spin the phone around. It's coming a little bit closer. And you see the angle is really wide. So even if I come in a slight bit to the side, you can see my hand coming in there. And there you go, motion detected. So already it's picking up activity. So pretty cool. Let's go back. Place it in position. And see the options you have in there. Settings there. There's the actual device. You can invert the screen if you wanted to, so turn it. You've got share management, so sharing it with someone. Motion detection area. So you can actually pick an area you want the motion in to be picked up. So like so, or if you can go even smaller if you wanted to, like that. So let's go back from there. Okay, got night vision. The sensitivity to that is always on or auto. It's best to probably have it on auto. Let's go back. And that's that one. Let's go back from there. So on the actual camera itself, you can hit record if you wanted to. So if you wanted to record some live footage, stop there, save to your gallery, take a, take a snap as well if you wanted to. And you can play back, but only if you've got a subscription. Let's go back, back again. And there's different modes. So you've got away, home, sleep, and wake up. So these have different options. If I go into edit, if I go into away, and we just select the camera. So you will see in away mode, camera's on, send notification is on, share device is on. If go to home. This is interesting, so the camera's on, but send notification is off and share is on. So obviously, if you're home, you don't want to get any notifications. And let's go further back. It's going to sleep. Let's see what's different about this one. So camera's on, notifications on, and share is on. So it looks the same as the way for me and wake up. is the same as well. So you can amend these settings to your requirements, so which is quite good. You can add a schedule in as well. So you can switch to the particular mode between a certain time on a certain day, so that's quite good. So if, for example, if you know you're gonna be home on the weekends, you can have it in home mode all the time, or you could just permanently leave it in away mode to constantly pick up notifications. Okay, so they're the modes, so Let's go to edit device, click on the device, same again, you see those options. Let's click on home, so that's the initial screen, and then you've got events. So there's a motion that was detected earlier, if I click on that. It'll have any additional clips. There you go. See the hand coming in from the side? It's quite amazing how, how, what a wide angle you do get on that. So if you did put this outside your property, you'd get a good view on that. Discovery, cloud moments, public streams. So that's quite an interesting one. If I click on that. So different outside cameras that are currently running. So if I just click on one of them, That's live footage of a camera in Riyadh. Never seen this on an app before, you know, access to other cameras publicly available. So that's quite interesting, gives you an idea. Um, specials, 
any promotions, shop as well, you can shop online in their store. And some details in there, system settings. Okay, so notification management. If I click on that, you can control how the notifications come in. So you could turn it off completely or you could just have either sound, vibrate or a light when there's a notification, okay? Play manager. Then you've got image loading, storage management. Let's leave that. Check for updates and about. And that's it. Really as simple as that. Easy to configure and simple to use. Okay, so here's an interesting feature on the actual app. So once you've connected to the Wi-Fi camera, if you turn your phone, it gives you the rest of the view on the camera. Quite impressive. This avoids you having to actually turn it like that. Okay, so you've seen this Wi-Fi camera in action. A nice sleek design on there, very compact, you know. Um, one of the advantages this has is the actual picture quality being at 1080p and the actual viewing angle on there. So pretty impressive at 180 degrees. Simple to configure, easy to use as well. So there you go. Hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like and subscribe.